Terraform 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 Terraform
need of that security group but or you can just directly use the script and from there there are access key that you have to paste it copy the access key and secret access key of the account where you want to deploy the resources that has been mentioned in the script access key secret access key has been pasted and right now the ami ami always make sure the ami keeps changing according to the region if your region is north virginia then i suggest you to go to north virginia and copy the ami and paste it here and now i will give a key name and there were multiple key names uh, and I have created the key name as Terraform for this particular EC2 machine that I'll be launching. So I need this terraform.pam to be attached to my machine. And now US East 1. So that is my Virginia region where I need this particular Linux machine to be deployed. I'll copy that AMI ID. And the instance type would be by default T2 micro has been given on the script. You can change according to your requirement and my requirement. Uh, I'll just use T2 medium. And you can see that uh, of in region that it has been given US East 2 that is Hawaii. So I will change to Virginia as my AMI has been copied from Virginia. If you don't do that here, then you might get an error. You will get an error once you run the Terraform uh, apply or init command. So since I have changed the init, init command has completely run successful. It has been initialized and in plan you can see there are nothing that I had to correct in the script. Everything looks great. And on Terraform apply, I'll just go ahead and enter a value as yes. So there are two resources that's been created, creating. So if I refresh, I can see that it's still not up. So let's wait some time. Okay, so apply complete. So if I go to my EC2 dashboard now and then refresh it, I can see that the Terraform is up. So the name has been not specified. I will do, I will specify the name here for my EC2 machine that is TFEC2. And to show you that the key pair has been attached to the VM, I'll just scroll down. You can see the key pair name is Terraform. So this tutorial is complete and you can access your VM using that particular key pair that you have just downloaded and to destroy terraform is one of the important command because what happened is that you run a lot of resources automatically built uh, using terraform and you cannot manually delete them if that is not the environment that you need to work on so then you had to use this terraform destroy and then all the resources that has been uh, deployed using that script will be destroyed in just one click. So enter a value as yes. So there are this command you have to remember Terraform init, Terraform plan, Terraform apply and Terraform deploy. You can even do the deploy but since I have not done it, uh, Terraform destroy. So let's go back once the destroy is completed to see if the resources is automatically terminating or not so i'll clear out the filter and you can see the machine is getting terminated i believe this video was helpful if yes please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more